Hi, it's Mr. Wassman, and today we are going to explore the concept of multiplying fractions in the context of following a recipe. So let's just jump right in. We're in our math journals on pages 232 and 233, and our story involves a pair of sisters who are baking muffins. Now, I'm going to use the ruckus strategy to help frame my thinking. Ruckus is, of course, an acronym that stands for read multiple times, underline the question, circle important information, come up with an action plan, and then solve. So let me read the, the top uh, couple of sentences. Suma and her sister Pooja are baking 12 blueberry wheat muffins for breakfast. The recipe lists the following ingredients, and you can read all the ingredients. Now down here at the bottom, there's uh, some different questions regarding uh, the recipe, because in question number one, they say that the sisters want to triple the recipe. Now, since I know that there are three uh, angles in a triangle, and there are three horns in a triceratops, they must be asking us to multiply everything by three. So in the first problem, 1A, how many teaspoons of baking powder do they need? I just need to look up here at my recipe list. And I see that there are two teaspoons required. And to triple that recipe, I'm just going to multiply that by three. Well, of course, two times three is going to give us six. So then they must need six teaspoons to triple that recipe. Easy peasy, right? Well, it gets a little trickier when we get to problem 1B. That's because they are asking us to triple the amount of salt. Now, if you've ever added too much salt to something, you know that's not a good thing. So we want to make sure we are exact. And they are only asking for one-fourth of a teaspoon of salt per dozen. So in order to do that, we're going to multiply one-fourth teaspoon times three. Now, multiplication is basically repeated addition. So that means every time I multiply something, by 3, I'm basically taking that number or the other factor and I'm just adding it to itself 3 times. So if I multiply 1 fourth times 3, I'm basically adding 1 fourth plus 1 fourth plus 1 fourth. Now if you remember from adding fractions, we only add the numerator because the denominator basically describes what we're adding. So if I add 1 plus 1 plus 1 together, that's going to give me a total of 3, which means that my amount of salt needed is 3 fourths of a teaspoon. Okay? So when I multiply 1 fourth times 3, I get 3 fourths. All right, so let's find another problem that requires us to multiply a fraction. Now, on the top of page 2, they ask us to look at this problem. How many cups of blueberries did they use if they decided to bake 48 muffins instead of 12? Now, 48 is larger than tripling. So we first need to figure out to what factor are we multiplying 12. So I'm going to use my division strategy. It's basically asking us to divide 48, the number of muffins, by 12, which is a dozen per muffin. And since I know that 12 times 4 gives me 48, then my missing number, or my quotient, must be 4. So that means I am going to be multiplying all the ingredients, or quadrupling the ingredients, by multiplying them by 4. So now we have to look at how many blueberries or how much blueberries do they ask for per dozen. And as you can see, they're asking for 3 fourths of a cup. So I'm going to multiply 3 fourths times 4. Now, this is one way I can set up this problem. 3 fourths times 4. But there's another way to look at this, okay? When I think of 4 as a whole number, that is essentially 4 wholes, or 4 ones, okay? 
I can represent that like so. Four wholes is basically four over one. Now that's not a fraction that we see very often or think about unless we are comparing it to other fractions. So when I multiply three-fourths times four, I'm basically multiplying the top number or the numerators and the bottom numbers together. Now three times four of course gives us twelve and four times one of course gives us four. So the number of cups of blueberries required to make 48 muffins is going to be 12 fourths. Now 12 fourths obviously is an improper fraction. That means the top number is bigger than the bottom. So now what we want to do is we want to think about how many groups of four or how many whole cups can we get out of 12 fourths. Well this requires a little bit of division. So I'm going to divide 12 into groups of 4. Now, of course, since I know my multiplication table, I know that 4 times 3 gives me 12. So that means that 12 divided into 4 groups would give me 3 in each group. So that means that 12 fourths is the equivalent of 3 whole cups. Now again, if you wanted to try that problem doing repeated addition, it would look something like this. I have four groups of three-fourths. So I'm going to add three-fourths plus three-fourths plus three-fourths, and yes, one more, three-fourths. So again, when I'm adding fractions, I'm only looking at the numerator. So I'm basically skip counting. Three, six, nine, twelve. And that's how you would solve for the number of blueberries needed for 48 muffins. Now, if you have questions, uh, please feel free to contact your teacher either through Canvas or have your parents email your teacher. Otherwise, we will talk again tomorrow. Thank you.